What I know that you'll be good at this because that belief is working for you. Mm. So people who come to me with problems, um, I know they're good hypnotic subjects because their problems they've created for themselves. Yeah. They're good visualizers. Yeah. Do you know what I mean by that? In other words, they think like, you know, this this is helping me when actually the body knows it wants to get rid of it. Yeah. If you didn't smoke for a week and you put a fag in your mouth, you'd cough like Yeah. Because really it's no good for you. No. But you ignore the cough and you're running with the belief. Yeah. We're going to install some new beliefs. Good. That's what we're going to do. What yeah. sort of imagination have you got? I've got an all right imagination, like storytelling to my children. I'm quite good at doing that. and um, So, yeah, my imagination is quite... Wild. Should we? Well, I'm gonna. We're gonna do an imagination test. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna do a concentration test. Okay. Pe people worry about tests. Yeah. It's not a test. It's a game. Okay. It's to get you in the right mindset for all of this. <laughs> okay. um, have you got any questions? No, not yet. You happy? You're yeah, happy. I'm happy. Okay, so you don't have to talk. What I want you to do is I want you just just sort of like see what I'm doing. Okay, so I want you to put your hands together there, mm -hmm. as if you are sort of like uh, you've got your hands clasped. And then in a moment, not now, in a moment, you're going to put your hands up there as if you're saying like a desperate prayer. Okay. Please, please, please stop me smoking. And what's going to happen is you're going to put your fingers like that. Yeah. And I want you to look through your fingers, but at your fingers. Don't look yeah. at me. And I'm going to tell you what to do. So put your hands up there. Open your fingers. Don't... Up just them ones. Just your first fingers. Yeah. Okay, like that. And I want you to imagine that you've got a magnet on that hand, a magnet on that finger, and a magnet on that finger. And, and it's get, they're getting closer and closer. Just concentrate there and you'll find that if you imagine you've got a magnetic force and a magnetic force there and the magnetic force is getting stronger and stronger, that the fingers will be drawn together slowly. They're actually moving now, they're going slowly and slowly. Don't make them move and don't no, do it no, no. as I'm saying, but you, are, you will find that they'll get closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and closer. Just allow them to go closer and closer. It's quite interesting, really, how you get that psychological effect with the magnets. The, the force is stronger and stronger and closer and closer. In a moment, they'll touch. And when they touch, you can just let your hands drop down. And when your hands drop down, you can just let your eyes close down and just relax. They're almost touching now. They're doing really well. Getting closer and closer. And when they touch, you can just close your eyes. And I'll put your hands down. That's just your mind doing that, it's really clever. Ooh. And there they go, just close your eyes, put your hand down, keep your eyes closed, and just let your mind relax down. Just listening to the sound of my voice, let my voice do all the work. And when a hypnotist says sleep, he's not actually telling you to go to sleep like you go to sleep in bed. You're not going to go to sleep, you're not going to fall asleep. You just go into the sleep-like state. When I say sleep, and click my fingers, that just allows you to access this state of mind that you're in now, which is a beautiful state of relaxation. Your mind slows down, your breathing slows down, your blood pressure goes down, your pulse goes down, and your mind sinks down into a state of deep relaxation. Even though you know exactly what's going on around you, nothing disturbs you, nothing relaxes you. And every time I tell you to go to sleep, your head will drop down, your eyes will close down, and you'll go back to this place of relaxation that you've achieved now really well. So just open your eyes, one, two, three, eyes wide open. So it feels good, that, doesn't it? Yeah, feel relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of fun. It's quite amazing how your fingers go together yeah. with the thought, isn't it? Yeah. What actually happens is the thought creates a feeling yeah. and it changes your body. It goes from psychology to physiology. Yeah. Physiology is the way you stand, the way you move your body. Mm -hmm. And psychology is a thought. Right. So if you think you're confident, you stand confident and you yeah. are confident. If you think you're weak, then you become a weakling and you yeah. get bullied. You know, yeah. if you think you can do something, you can. Yeah. If you think you can't do something, mm -hmm. you won't. Yeah. It's all, it's a thought. Yeah. We, we live a thought life. A thought is everything. Mm -hmm. A thought is absolutely everything. So what we'll do now is, that that's like an imagination.